I'm Musa Kawula and welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. If you're on your phone, I hope you're taking pictures of your celebrities, your influencers, and pictures of me, okay? Chomi, we are evading up. Good morning, Khoisan bitches. I am Musa Kawula. My friends call me Wendy Williams Light. And welcome to the Pope of Pop Culture. A lady do uh, visited this other funky podcast just the other day, and she addressed um, her beef with KO. You're going to remember that, obviously, KO took to his diss track and called uh, Lady Do like sort of jealous and whatnot because the whole thing started with Sete and whatnot. But then a Lady Do was like, you know what, bitch, not in my name. And I like the way she addressed the whole thing. But then I'm also feeling like Lady Do likes being like, you know what, the mother of the industry, the way she was talking. And I was like, okay, bitch, you're not the mother. But anyway, uh, she said this KO, she feels like KO should have came to her and said, you know what, yeah, my sister, you know, I didn't like what you said and whatnot. Of which I'm still asking, where the hell did you say all of these things? Was it on Instagram? Because if it's on Instagram, there should be screenshots. If it's on Twitter, definitely screenshots. But you said all of these things, but no one can sort of back it up. Of which that's where I side and stand with Lady Do. I'm like, okay, fine, bitch. You were accused of things, but... KO doesn't even know where he got this information, but then you would know that obviously uh, Lady Do also addressed that, you know what, there was this guy that was working for she, uh, the manager, and then Lady Do fired him because he was like, he was stealing money and all of that stuff and whatever. So that guy went and joined KO's team, of which I feel like this whole beef has everything to do with this man. I feel like he's like the instigator behind the whole thing. But anyway, uh, Lady Do is like, you know what, bitch, I feel like if he had things to say, let me get me a drink, actually. Address me and whatnot. But then also Lady Do, you know what Lady Do, she's painting as hell. So she's like, you know what, bitch? I've been like, you know what, my sales from like last year alone, and you would know that obviously, Lady Do didn't release any music last year. So she's saying that, you know what, bitch? I am sitting on 1.7 million streams on Spotify badge and uh, <laughs> and apparently this KO hasn't even reached a million. I feel like Lady Do was reaching with this because obviously this man has a music from like, you know what, from the day in the past and you know what, he, he also has that collaboration with Obviously, with uh, Zakes between his wife, Nandi Madida, I suppose those streams are like from the YouTube and whatnot, because Spotify is like new to like, you know, at most artists and whatnot. Of which I also feel like 1.7 million streams is actually not a lot. It is cute, but it's definitely not a lot. Lady Do saying that, you know what, KO hasn't even reached a million. <gasps> Yes, she be some angel, but she also emphasized that you know what we're leaving Sete out because obviously the beef started with Sete, so Sete doesn't count because Blakey and uh, Young Stana are her friends. She says, you know what? But then that is fine. But she's also saying that uh, apparently she wrote this this track and whatever, and then she she realized that you know what she doesn't want to release it and she just let it slide basically. And I wanted her to get on the earth crust and release this diss track because obviously uh, what's music without diss tracks and all of that stuff but anyway you don't care about this story right it's all as fuck and so i suppose we're just gonna move on but then i'm also tired of talking about this you know that i'm sure me and my friends we know that sean kiza got her bbl in and whatnot but everybody is like oh she didn't and do you remember when she was married to that to that man that traffic officer man right the traffic officer man cheated on she and whatnot, and then Mam Kiza filed for divorce. But then you would know that obviously in the Durban, uh, Mam Kiza's house, it's in, uh, what's this? It's in Durban North, right? Apparently there is like a left wing and the right wing. Apparently that's Sbu man, that's Mam Kiza's ex husband, by the way. Sbu still lives on the left wing of the house, and then Mam Kiza and the children, they stay on the right wing of the house. Of which I'm thinking probably that's advantages for that beach with the lake because obviously that's her daddy. So, you know, she can just move from the left wing to go see her daddy and then come back to the right wing to collect coin by Mam Kiza. So, you know what? She has it good, if we're being honest. But then we're also going to know that obviously if you're from the Durban, you would know that Mam Kiza's money comes from the RDP houses, the people that live in 
in Kwamashu, I think. It, it, it has a whole asbestos thing. And when Norma Mkizo had like this big tender, and then she was like building RDPs and whatnot. And then obviously, you know, that if you did a little bit of physics like myself, bitch, you would know that asbestos and whatever, it leads to asbestos and all of that shit, right? So uh, the houses were built with asbestos. So everybody like got sick and all of that shit. So yeah, so that's where all the coin is coming from. You know, from like chip skating and robbing people from the from the Guamashu and, and whatnot. But anyway, we like our, our friends. Uh, well, Mamkiz is our friend, right? We like uh, Mamkiz's BBL. She looks nice and whatnot. The style, you know, sometimes she get it dry when it comes to a style, but sometimes it just. It just goes off. I don't know. But then some of our friends are saying she wears like a lot of knockoffs. But then in my head, I'm thinking that is Sean Stylist's fault. Because apparently, I don't even know why Mamkiz is not firing the Sean Stylist. Because what the fuck, you know, she's got so much money. She could, she could get like, you know, but not everything has to be designed. Okay, it could be designer, but can it be good designer? If you have all of that money, can it be like good designer? But anyway, we're going to move on. You know, you're going to remember that uh, on the, one of our last episodes, we reported that William Say is struggling to finalize his divorce with his childhood sweetheart from the Eastern Cape. Do people actually go to Eastern Cape voluntarily and leave there voluntarily? I, I can never, I can never get that. But anyway, uh, this Renee, Renee is the current girlfriend that colored bitch. Apparently, the colored bitch has since broken up with Vuyomse, of which I'm thinking, uh, you know, Renee Stemann can't book a job. Okay, she books like one of those chick flick films that nobody is watching. Then after that, she does nothing outside of that. And Vuyomse had that one small job at the Queen as Schumacher, I think. And wait, let me get me a drink. Fuck. It's good. As Schumacher, right? But now since the Queen is cancelled, obviously the couple is struggling. So Renee Sturman decided, you know what? I'm going to leave your ass. Your, your ass that can't even finalize the divorce and whatnot. I'm going to leave and whatnot. Of which that's good for her because William says, shame. he's been struggling. Obviously, you would know that. And the Queen, obviously, was like, I'm sure Ulo, that fucked up Connie, began robber and whatnot. Obviously, you know, Abu Musha, the end, Abu Musha, at the Gomorrah, right? Abu Musha, the end, like, probably 20,000 rand a month at the thing. But then, as Kolab, I'm just saying what I'm saying. So we're going to move on. We've since learned that uh, MT has handed himself to the police. This comes after, obviously, the allegations that were leveled by the wife. Obviously, we've seen uh, the live video, the wife showing proof that, you know what, uh, MT beat her ass up. And she's seven months pregnant on Valentine's Day. Wah, wah, wah. So anyway, the women for change and all of them, me too people, and I stand with her people, uh, got this girl, you know what, to open a case. And when not, so now everybody's standing against and MT decided that, you know what, he's going to go hand himself over. But then I also don't want us to forget that uh, two years back, I say, MT had taken to his Twitter to say that apparently there's wife and uh, the mother, the way busy strangling him and all of that stuff. So that also, I'm sure we're going to be seeing this come to play as the case progresses. And I know that me and my friends, we're going to be following. So good luck to any other of them. I don't know. And... Oh my God, oh my God. Mm. Katleho Danke. Obviously, you would know her as Dinewo from the old generations and whatnot. Akatleho Danke is pregnant with Petrus Mutsepe's second child. So, as we're learning, apparently, uh, this Katleho Danke has been with, has been Petrus Mutsepe's side chick. From, from like when she was 18, 19. So she was like a baby. So she, like, this is the love of your life, if we're being honest. How dare they date? Because now I think this bitch is like borderline in her 40s now. So congratulations to her. Our friends are very happy that, you know, what she bagged like the actual bag, Patrice Mutsepe, and whatnot. And I'm not mad at this bitch. You go get your bag and you make sure that obviously your maintenance, obviously now you have a second baby. The maintenance is going to be all the way up, bitch. And you know what? This bitch is literally said for life, if we're being honest. But then I also feel sad, you know what, for the wife. Do I feel sad for the wife? Bitch, you go through what you need to go through. But our friend Katla Khotanke is there getting her bag, and you better leave her the fuck alone. Uh, Katla Khotanke is going to be on the radio, I think, uh, Metro FM. I suppose she's going to be addressing some of the things and whatever. So anyway, we're going to come back and talk about that as soon as the interview happens. For now, me, I'm going to get out, and bye-bye. See you soon.